truth? Well, first time I got, I got denied, I went mad. I'm just saying, we just, we want y'all to get it right. We love y'all. We love y'all, we love y'all, we want y'all to get it right, at least get it close to right. Jay-Z first stole the internet when he stepped forward and held the industry responsible for the injustice towards his wife. Just a few days back, a clip of Jay-Z went viral on social media where he called out the Grammys for not giving Beyonce, his wife, a Grammy for Album of the Year. Wow, thank you guys so much. This is such an honor. I'd like to thank God. This has been such an incredible year. However, it looks like the tables have been turned on Jay-Z because rapper M.I.A. has been out there making some wild allegations against Jay-Z. The internet is going crazy because M.I.A. looks like she is not playing around. She accused Jay-Z and other big artists for conspiring with the Bronx man's family and why? Well, so they could take full custody of her child. Given the dark stuff in these allegations, fans are now canceling Jay-Z. Just what did M.I.A. say? Did Jay-Z actually conspire with the Bronzemans? Is there any truth to these allegations? Welcome back to Celebrity Buzz, where we will talk about how rapper M.I.A. revealed alarming truths about Jay-Z and his billionaire friends. But before we give you guys the tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. I am actually, I think this is the one that's like the, 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 the one. For me. Sure, Jay-Z was in a good mood after he won the Global Award and had fans rooting for him. But things took a drastic turn when rapper M.I.A. started making some bold claims, accusing Jay-Z of all sorts of things. First of all, um, thanks to Dr. Dre, who said he in the house, he's somewhere. Oh, there he is. Andre Young, thank you, sir. Now, Jay-Z had won fans' hearts for the briefest of moments when a clip of him calling out the industry went viral. Jay-Z was making it very clear that according to him, Beyoncé deserved the Album of the Year award. But like every other time, she did not get it this time as well. Fans had mixed feelings about Jay-Z taking the stand for his wife. Some fans did not think it was valid, and some cheered him on for spitting facts. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won Album of the Year. However, public opinion has entirely changed after rapper M.I.A. stated accusing Jay-Z of some pretty wild things. According to the rapper, she says that everyone including Jay-Z is making sure that she does not get to meet her baby or even gets custody of her child. She went on an entire rant session on Twitter where she called out Jay-Z by writing, The day I was served for my child, Rock Nation stopped all communication with me and all my emails to Jay-Z asking for help was wiped from my inbox. My house was broken into and every lap was taken. I was trapped in Brooklyn on an order served that restricted me from leaving Brooklyn for 15 years. Now, M.I.A. did not just stop there. Instead, she took jabs at everyone including Canadian fashion designer Aurora James who also seems to be a friend of Beyoncé. She said, Aurora James vaccinated my child without my permission. They manipulated my child by lying to a 12-year-old, pretending to be his mom. Of course, if it's not your own child, you don't care how you can psychologically damage a child with mental games. She is Beyonce and Selena's friend. She further added, again they vaccinated him even after calling me an anti-vaxxer and humiliating me in the press for a good two years and cancelling my latest record from all promo and touring. Again sacrificing another LP yet they still vaccinated him at 12 to get at me. During her rant session, she opened up about how the Bronkman family, the family of her baby daddy teamed up with Jay-Z and even possibly paid him off. She wrote, My first custody battle was 2013. My child was four. I was managed by Jay-Z who ultimately was paid by Bronkmans. MIA also talked about how Sarah Bronkman has been funding a cult named Next of M. Yup, you heard that right. Sarah Bronkman might be a billionaire, but behind the scenes, she's busy funding a trafficking cult, and MIA is now calling out the government, as well as everyone, for letting a child stay with someone who funds such cults. The rapper also took some shots at the government. She wrote, I'm not allowed to see my child for stealing food at 18, when I was poor, yet your government is okay with my child being with a family convicted for child trafficking and sex cults okay. The difference between me and migrants coming in is that I can't vote. I'm paying U.S. taxes too. Sick. She further added, I have shown support for Julian for 14 years and have been to the USA many times. The only thing different this time is I called for a ceasefire and spoke out against genocide and ethnic cleansing.
Now I am forced to pick between my child and speaking up for what's right by God. If you are a mainstream artist who politically funds the campaign of this candidate. A fan wrote, I can relate. Rapper M.I.A.'s situation epitomizes parental alienation, where her ex, wielding financial power, manipulates custody arrangements, fabricates excuses for later rivals, and undermines her relationship with their child through deceit. Such alienating parents fabricate evidence, exploiting the court's uniform scrutiny, resulting in minimal consequences. This cycle prolongs separation, transforming days into years of agonizing absence. For MIA and others in similar circumstances, witnessing the erosion of their parental bond is akin to a slow demise. In the context of family court, such manipulation becomes a weapon, a means for narcissistic ex-partners to emotionally destroy their former spouses. Another fan commented, We are people looking through crooked lenses, looking at someone's life, and making or passing judgment without the whole story if true or false. For years people have been coming for Jay-Z from the Dane Dash break to dating Beyonce and still have no hard evidence but finding him guilty of something is crazy. I will add my two cents on the whole Dane thing. If I have a business partner and while I'm away doing shows or what have you, how can you make the judgment call to put someone that I'm not cool with as president of our record label without consulting me for my input? But Jay-Z does a business deal and outshines Dame. Somehow people miss something. Said all that to say this, we should pay better attention to our own lives. And that's all for today. What do you think about the entire situation? Did Jay-Z actually do it? Will you respond to all of MIA's accusations? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We will see you guys next time with more updates from the celebrity world.